Hey beauties and curls, it's Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. And if you stay ready, no need to get ready. We are ready for May favorites. So I have hair care, skin care, I have makeup. I have a whole lot of makeup actually. And I also have a fragrance, a book, and Netflix. I got a whole bunch going on. Okay, let's get straight into it. Let's start off with hair care. So my first hair care product is the Sasha Pure Certified Pure Peruvian Sasha Enchi Oil. This is their rehydrating cleansing conditioner. I love this, okay? It was really inexpensive on naturallycurly.com. That's where I get a lot of my kind of like mainstream or things that I want to like actually review from the natural hair community. This is where I go. But this one is a gentle cleansing conditioner. Y'all know I am coming with my favorite or I'm going to be ranking my co-washes. Actually, I'm going to rank in every category. I know y'all let me know that you wanted to see me rank my protein conditioners so i'm definitely going to do that but co-washes i already told y'all that i wanted to come kind of like a little review but i think ranking them and coming with many reviews would be better comment down below let me know if that's something that you guys want to see but i have been loving this it's very thick but it also gives a lot of moisturizing is it says it's rehydrating and i definitely think it's hydrating it's rich in omega-3 6 and 9 it's vitamin and it also has vitamin a and e and amino acids i think that this is a really good like quality co-wash you get 12 ounces this looks small for 12 ounces but you know what it's so thick highly recommend you wetting your hair first and then going in with this i know sometimes we want to do the opposite and put this on dry hair um or we really don't want to saturate the hair i guess that's what i'm trying to say saturate your hair before putting this on because it's so thick i am going to talk about this in that video a little bit more in depth but i definitely want to let you guys know that i recommend this it's really good and it is color safe and it is sulfate free and it says it's de you can use this for detangling and no foam it's a no foam cleansing conditioner i like it a whole lot moving on <laughs> this is sonoma harvest avocado oil spritzer now y'all this is for cooking i found out that this was supposed to be used for cooking it was not in the cooking section this was in the section where all the like body care products so i absolutely love it it's a little bit less thick than castor seed oil but i have been loving avocado oil not necessarily that one but try some avocado oil i'm just saying Let's move on to skincare. I have two items that I wanna talk about. Actually three, I think. Okay, so I have been loving this cleansing balm by Elemis, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I've had a few, I've heard a few people really talk about this, but I guess this is the number one brand in the UK in terms of like this cleanser, but I really, really like it. It has a spa herbal scent. It, um, it emulsifies and when you rinse it off it turns into a milky texture i feel like it's really plumping my skin a little bit goes a long way i feel like that um it's definitely worth the money so i haven't tried the moisturizer from this brand but i have tried the oil a little bit and i do like the oil i just want to i'll probably review the whole skincare system but i wanted to dig into this because i needed a cleansing oil but i really like this balm gets off all my makeup i really like it because it's thick and i don't have to use so much and i kind of like that it's in the oil uh, that it's a balm to oil type of consistency it um it's not really like if you want to call it hygienic because you know i have to dig my finger but you can definitely take a spatula or something and dip it out but i really really do like this and um i can definitely see myself repurchasing this now this what i just stumbled upon this i end up i was at a um, i think an event and this was added for free in my bag and this is the kills kendula Cal calendula i guess deep cleansing foam face wash this is so good if you have combo i would say normal to oily skin just like it says it is so good it doesn't strip the skin now this cleanses your skin you're gonna feel like your skin is cleansed but it's not stripped i really like this now the lms um the lms pro 
collagen cleansing balm i guess you could use it on its own but because i'd like to double cleanse um my face does feel cleansed with this i guess if i would take off my eye makeup first and then use this i would i guess be okay but i just like i feel better just double cleansing and everything that this doesn't get this will so i really like this combo um i definitely could see myself purchasing repurchasing both of these i definitely see myself using this in the summer this is going to be my spring to summer cleanser because i think in the fall and winter, winter although this does not strip my skin because my skin goes dry i can see this kind of like drying my skin out so um but this is a, an excellent cleanser for if if you are normal to dry this is an excellent excellent cleanser i haven't liked a cleanser like this in a very long time so love this so much the last skincare item i do want to talk about is an og this is the derma e hydrating night cream it has hyaluronic acid i love adding an, a serum and an oil to this boom it is so good i feel like it is worth its weight in gold it is so good i feel like it's inexpensive you can get this from the drugstore and it's a thick cream that even someone with oily skin at night could use it has that hyaluron hyaluronic acid and one of the things as you get older you want to really take um pay attention to those things that really plump the skin that hydrate the skin that's going to reduce the fine lines and wrinkles i love this so much and i had to mention it but this is a plus for me i feel like that this is a year-round night cream as well because of that higher Relonic acid being in there and it's hydrating. I feel like I do not have to moisturize as much in the morning. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I feel like when you use your nighttime routine as that really penetrating and rejuvenating step, this really works and I like it so much. These by these foundation sticks by wet n wild are amazing i think these melt into the skin they're like butter i have it in two shades my skin tone shade is golden tan that's 864a and i do contour i use this as a bronze um a bronzer i'm using almond um 868a so i love these so much i feel like that these are so so good and i pay it with I pay those out of pocket but something that was sent to me in PR that this is my favorite this is my favorite foundation stick if you have dry skin if you have normal skin if you have combo skin I think these will work really really well for you I'm not sure about oily skin but the minted foundation sticks y'all is the truth I'm wearing it right now this is my favorite it's so hydrating I feel like so comfortable it melts into the skin i feel like that this is the closest match to my skin tone where it's like skin l20 is my perfect skin tone shade t40 is my bronzing shade and i know in the summer i get a little bit dark so i'm going to be using l40 let's just stick with minted okay let, this is the brush that came with the PR box that I received and I really do like it now I will say this if you're gonna get anything get the foundation sticks the brush is wonderful but it reminds me a lot of the elf uh, pro, their blending brush but this is so good I feel like if you don't have a makeup brush and you want to go ahead and get something you can go ahead and get it since you are getting the foundation this is a really good brush like a multi-functional brush i used it for my bronzer i used it to blend in my foundation i feel like with a light skin it's better to blend and you're going to get better coverage with a brush but i really do like this um i feel like that this one is a little bit more it's a more quality brush than the elf brush just because the ferrule is that like I don't know it's not mesh but I feel like you get a better grip with it um, I know with my elf brush because I have the same brush I feel like that this loosens um, on my elf brushes but I feel like this is a better quality brush and I can appreciate that the lining of the ferrule you know it's not gonna detach from here and I just really like this brush but sticking to minted these lip pencils y'all I have on 
the peach lip pencil and the nude lip pencil these are so good i love that they're retractable this is like my number one lip pencil choice i love mac i love makeup forever and my number one choice in lip pencils are these from minted i'm just saying y'all try them they're velvety, velvety smooth if you don't feel like putting on a lipstick just fill your lips in with this slap on a gloss like i did with the minted i'm sorry this is the boss the the original fenty beauty this is the gloss balm um by universal golf gloss balm by fenty i love this combo because it's so easy for spring and summer quality this is my go-to lip so i'm just saying okay in terms of a highlighter i'm just loving cream products something that's these are like really fast on the go that i'm talking about this is the benefit what's up this is an og love that i have fell back in love with it's a cream if you want like natural glow but high beam i'm wearing it today i love this so much and it just blends into the skin and as you're as the as your body heat warms up the product it just looks even more and more pretty hope that makes sense let's talk about palettes now the makeup forever this is the pro sculpting face palette i have it in the number 40 this is for tan skin tones i love this so much i needed it i i had to check i had to check on sephora to make sure that this was available it is so good i have hit pan on the concealer i use this as a blush which i have it on today and a color corrector under my eye i just blended the concealer and this color together and made a color corrector concealer which it's a it's like a multi-use product i've used this for cop bronze and contour and this is a beautiful highlight shade it's a pretty pretty gold i love it so much this is so good it's really good for traveling and being on the go it's also good if you have a kit if you want to take some of this out and put it on your palette but this is so good for mixing i could definitely blend and take these two shades and make a custom foundation if this is you know if in the summertime this is too light i can blend this in and make a foundation i can use this as a concealer i can use these two as a color corrector it's good trust me it's good mascara makeup shayla's this was her collaboration with maybelline why did it take me so long to try this this is the colossal big shot love it so much love it so much it gives you nice fluttery type of lashes and I, I just love it it's like a full thick lash it's it doesn't really uh, elongate to me but it gives me a really nice fluttering of the lash i love using it because it gives me thickness on my bottom lashes which my bottom lashes are very skimpy so i can appreciate something like this but i really really like this and um maybelline makes really good mascaras in terms of being consistent from the drugstore i feel like maybelline makes the best like collection of mascaras that's what i wanted to try. that's what i was trying to say they make the best one so i really like this colossal i have been loving this liquid blush like liquid and cream is my jam i just feel like it makes me look it makes me feel like feminine pretty and like natural and not just like all done up and sometimes i want to be done up but still feel like i'm in the skin i'm i'm in does that make sense i don't want to go like full glam but this makes me feel like daily everyday pretty i guess that's what i'm trying to say this is the nars liquid blush in dolce vita got this from a girl a recommendation from a girl kiko beauty i love this so much and a little bit goes a long way i can't see anybody going running out of this before it expires but i really do like this a whole lot it's a beautiful like Oh, this is a universal shade okay especially if you are tan to dark love this deep tone you're gonna love this i feel like two palettes i want to talk about this is the elf aqua beauty i've been getting so many compliments from this i think i only paid like 10 to 12 dollars i think for this um it might be from six i can't even remember y'all know elf is inexpensive but these are like creamy i love this shade these are like so pigmented this came from a recommendation a while ago from andrea renee my girl on youtube and this is such a beautiful palette it comes with a mirror so anybody that tells me that they can't afford in their palette a mirror i don't know i don't know if i would believe them but i love these shades they're super creamy 
Joseph was right here. And I love these so much. But they're like very creamy and they blend in so well and they stay on a long time on the eye. But this is the, again, the Aqua from the Aqua line from e.l.f. Really like this. This palette is the Island Breeze palette. I love this palette. The final palette I want to talk about, this is the Dose of Colors Baked Browns. <coughs> this makes the prettiest brown smoky eye I have ever used in my life. Okay, so let's talk about favorite beauty channels or favorite just gen uh, channels in general just because I have a few. Dr. Lisa B. That's actually my biological sister and um, she is such, she's so gifted in, in terms of spoken word and poetry and she also has started doing some natural hair videos in particular with her daughter so definitely go check her out. I think she's going to be a great like wholesome lifestyle channel. We're going to have a couple of things in common, but definitely go and check out her videos. And I would love for you guys to subscribe to her and show her some support if you like those type of videos. Also, Kiko Beauty, my girl is back. Yes. I love me some Marguerite. So definitely go check her out. She did start uh, posting videos in the month of May again. So definitely check her out if you love perfumes, your favorites. She has, uh, she's well rounded in terms of like being um, a source of information. So I highly recommend her as well. And um, those are the ones that I've been loving like this month. Of course, y'all know CJ Beauty Essentials. She still is um, filming, but it's just that it's not as often. And she talks about that in her blog. But if you want some like behind the scenes, if you enjoy vlogs, I feel, I really like her vlogs. And that's Daily Dose of CJ. So another favorite is, of course, my children. It was Mother's Day this month. And so this is the best Mother's Day to date. It just keeps getting better and better. I think it's because as my kids are growing up, I'm appreciating them more and more. And so, yeah, I love it in the car. Oh my goodness. I'll show you guys the book, but it's 12 things Jesus said about money. Life changing book. I can tell that in the first chapter. Yes, I am on chapter three, but y'all that is, it's a quick read, but it's a slow digest. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Like you could, I could fly through that book, but because it is detailed and has so much information that I just don't want to miss anything. So I'm like reading it with like an understanding. I want to ingest and digest and break down and really get the best out of that book. So I'm kind of, it's not a slow read for me. It's like a well thought out read. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I definitely will show you guys the book and a cut away and show you how it looks so if you want to check it out we're doing a cj and i are doing a book club behind the scenes and we're going to talk about it i think separately on our on our channels but it's such a it's it's about you know money and stewardship and what are you going to do with it and how like the are you driven by money and it's just so so good okay and then let's talk about netflix right now y'all i'm watching again beauty and the beast now this one is really good just because it's a spinoff y'all know i love disney um video movies i don't know if y'all know that but i like disney movies and beauty and the beast is one of my favorite just because it talks about like inner beauty and like it has a deeper meaning which all of them do but this one is about beauty and being conceited and y'all it's a lot of stuff going on right now in the beauty community but your inside i feel like inner beauty is way more important than outer beauty and this um series it has four seasons but i really like it because it talks about a deeper love that you know he was a beast or he is a beast and um it's through a military so it's like a modernized form of beauty and the beast he became a beast through a military experiment so it's really really good i really like it if you love kind of like quirky kind of like suspense drama we're gonna get some romance of course but i really really do like the series and this is my second time <sighs> okay so that's the first series the next series i have started season two of imposters have y'all been watching it okay and what just came out i know i'm already gonna like it is is the next season of queen of the south that's me and my husband's ben wa binge watch video uh or series y'all let me know 
what I should watch next on on Netflix but those are the three that I've been talking about and watching and there's some other series that came out that's very interesting let me know if there's anything new that I need to watch okay guys those are my favorites of the month thanks so much for watching comment and let me know what your favorite Netflix show or what show I should just like is just like irresistible let me know what you have absolutely been loving in the month of May and I'll see you guys in the next video bye love you